What's up guys, today we're going to build the box for the CO2 scrubbers, so let's go. Now if you want to know what the CO2 project's about, you can either watch this video here or go check out the playlist which is in the description below. Now the box we're building today I'm making out of a plywood uh, which has been treated so it can be left out in the sun. Now I've cut up these pieces into some nice smaller sections which I'm going to join together with some liquid nails. But before I do that I'm going to get one of the pieces and I'm going to mark out four sections or where I'm going to drill out and cut these holes. Now these holes are the same as the actual tubes itself and then we'll have another piece which will go on the back you'll see in a second. So I'm just going to notch those out to begin with. I don't want to cut all the way through. Now I'm going to join them together at the pieces and where there's not going to be the hole. That way there's actually some grip strength. Now I do kind of find later on that it's a bit tight because I kind of built this to the exact measurements and didn't really leave room for uh, too much wiggle room which kind of uh, caught me in the end but it's all right I fix it later on anyway so it doesn't really matter um, but basically what I'm going to do is have two pieces so that one is the exact size so the tube slots through it but then there's a backing piece on the back that stops it from sliding through that way it'll be the bottom holder when the tubes are actually sitting up against it so that instead of having brackets or something like that holding the tubes, it'll actually just have the weight sitting against this wooden piece. So I did end up moving some screws around uh, while it was drying and then what we've got is the two pieces joined together. We have the 100mm going through one side which I'm only going to drill down to cut through that first piece of wood and then on the other side I'm going to use the smaller one which will sit on the other side so you will cut through and you'll see a pattern on one side like this and then when we cut through the smaller section on the other side we then have this design so that way the plastic tubes will actually slot down and touch and sit there against it now the only problem was that I created it with such a I guess lack of any room of movement that they actually just squeezed in but then the the tube end with the sensors coming out of it is actually a little bit wider so I had to kind of chop this up a bit later on which you'll kind of see but at the end of the day it still worked on the same principle it just I gave it a little bit more wiggle room so that they could move around uh, and you'll see that soon. As for the rest of the box I actually found that the piece of wood that I had a lot of and is able to be out in the sun and the rain and everything was actually fence paling so I used it to create this type of uh, box with the fence palings so it worked out actually quite good now as you can see the box is kind of coming together with that bottom end piece down there that holds the tubes so you can see on this plate here I've actually hacked out uh, quite a bit of it just to allow for some movement because the tubes originally I thought were going to go straight but because of the ends they kind of went off a bit sideways so that gave it a bit more room uh, to, to move around and then I added on a bit of a cover for the bottom now it's not really needs to be waterproof or anything it's more just to block the sun because the tubes will sit uh, with those draining pipes they'll sit in there so that way they're tucked away I don't have to worry about them sitting out in the sun and you can see I've got a bit of that plywood that's sticking out the sides as well so I can screw down onto whatever it is I'm screwing it onto. Now the tubes all fit in fine. I've added a bit of a brace at the top of the tubes that uh, block it and also hold it in position. So that's kind of how they will sit. Uh, now all I needed to do was just paint it up. Decided to go with white paint. Uh, now this is just the first coat but with the white paint I'm hoping that uh, not only is it going to reflect the sunlight uh, and try and, I guess, negate any temperature changes if compared to like if it was black or something, but on the inside, when it's nice and white, I'll be able to see if there's any type of buildup of anything from the air that's coming out. So I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it be interesting to see if there's like mold growing or something. I don't know. We'll find out in the future. So I'll do another video on the lid and also adding in all of the components but that's about it for this video thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe check out the rest of the playlist thanks again and we'll see you next time